I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I sound really weird because it's early in the morning, 7 or 9 a.m. and I'm ready to fix my makeup for work and I'm kind of in a hurry. But I do want to play with new foundation that I got from Pat McGrath's lab because we just got, well not just, but we got Pat McGrath for like a month or two ago in Sweden and it's kind of interesting and I do want to play the uh, makeup look with this palette so I'm going to do this and also sorry and also I'll try the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer I have a smaller size but I do like the first version of it but it does make my eyes right now a little bit dry so I want to sh try the cream one so I'm going to kind of go in the deep of these products later because I'm in a hurry but I will do a whole day wear test with this foundation and we'll see how it's going to wear so if you want to see me using it and how it went for me then please keep on watching <music> first create a makeup look with this palette. I used this palette only once. I got it from my sister for birthday and I'm very, I really like these colors and I feel like a nude makeup look would be good today. So I won't talk a lot but I'll show you the colors. We go in in rough this shade. Some mascara follow. This is blending nice. This shade here. Use a smaller brush and go into this Navi shade here. I'm doing my usual kind of makeup look that I always do when I go to work, or most of the times. I'm in a hurry, but I really, want to, really want to try this foundation today. I'm going to go in in Please Me all over the lid. Expected more like a bronze shade, but on the eye it looks more like with a red or pinkish undertone, more than with the brown. I do want to top it with Flower Power, this shade here. This kind of looks good, we'll finish the makeup look later. And um, I also am going to try Again, I'll talk about these powders in this video because I've been using them a couple of days. Okay, so I am going to primer my face. I'm going to use the Milk Glue Primer. Now, I've used this for a long time and I got this new bottle from my sister, but I'll be having it before too. Also got from her the first time and I love this primer. My voice is so different because I haven't been talking this morning to anybody sticky okay so the packaging is kind of interesting i'm not going to keep it of course but i like the packaging and this is in shade six light six and i hope really hope this would be a good match i think i swatched it i swatched it yesterday and it looked like a bit to be a good color buildable perfecting coverage weightless texture silver satin finish runway tested modern approved Universal formula for all skin types, all free, paraben free, fragrance free. This is a small bottle, and this is an expensive foundation. And I'm going to go with a beauty blender. I don't like going in with brushes so much, and this will definitely take some foundation away. But let's just go what we with what we have. A little bit light, but I can work with it. I do prefer my. Foundation has been a little bit darker. This is kind of a liquidy foundation. Definitely a very liquidy foundation. But if I can't feel it on my skin, 
And let's see if it's better than Catrice and Estella, the double weird I love, and Remon that I just tried not long ago, and uh, L'Oreal's. Because the price though. Ooh, it looks good. Damn it. <laughs> it looks really, really good. I've seen reviews of this foundation and it's mixed reviews and I love reading your comments when you tell me about the product that you experienced that you did not like. I love that. And I like it that you put it on my in my comments so everybody can read it because if something worked for me but it didn't work for you, it's important that, that people know that but also if something, you know, work, didn't work for me but it worked for you, that's also as important too, like everybody knows. Everybody knows. Damn it, I love how it looks on my skin. It looks like my skin, but a little bit better. The coverage is medium coverage. I um, think it could be buildable, but oh my god, this is... I, there is no foundation on my skin. My god, it really looks like my skin. Very close. When you really, really look very close, it looks like my skin, which is really strange, because I've been having foundations that I really like, but this is, I love it, love it. Okay, let's go in with the concealer, where did I put it? Let's go in with the concealer. I did buy a small size because I had plenty of concealer to use and I didn't want to commit to full size if I didn't like the product. This is in shade 22N. Let's try this small amount. I think this will last me a long time too. This goes on nice with this foundation too. It's blending. Oh, I like that. That also melted just into my skin like nothing. Oh, my face looks snatched. To make it even more snatched, I'm going to go in with this uh, Givenchy, I think I pronounce this right, Prisma Libre, Libre Powder. I have it in two shades. I have the first one, uh, Mousseline Pastel, I think it's called, and the second one, Satin Blank. Now, this one I love for on the eyes because it brightens my under eyes. I just tap it here and I got all four shades. If you can see it, it's been used and it was first scary because, you know, green under the eyes and everything, but guys, I tried to put it in the, yeah, in the, into this, pour it into this and mix, but I got too much powder out, so it was a lot of waste. This is a expensive powder. We don't need to waste it, but this is, I love the... Jaclyn Hill powder from the eyes, but this is something new. This really blurs my pores look and it's really going well with this concealer and this foundation. Perfect. I love it. The second powder, number two, has some shimmer in it. One color has shimmers. Now when I swatched it, I could see it on my hand. But using it on my face, it wasn't really visible. I think this shade here up, the pink one, has some shimmers in it. Um, but it just gave me nice base for my rest of my makeup. And I really liked how it looked on my skin. Now, I don't use this on the under my eyes, but I do use it everywhere else. The second shade just set my makeup and give me nice glow but it's not it looked really shimmery on my hand but on my face it kind of melted into the skin and gave me that nice soft radiance so i'm in a hurry so i will just finish this makeup look and show you the product that i'm using and i'll talk about it later on this afternoon when i come back but i am going to use these products
So guys, the face looks really good. So I'm going to go on with my day and i let you know, let me show you what the time it is. 7.27 and I go, go fix my hair and go with my day and um, see you later. Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's see the time, 4.12 and I've been having this foundation on for around eight hours. So let's see, I'm going to take my glasses and I do look shiny. I can say that, yeah, I do look shiny. So it didn't control my oils a lot, but it still looks very flawless. Now it's wearing off here on my chin because I've been touching my chin a lot. I've been having meetings all day and I've been like doing this and this and this and this, you know, the whole day. So I understand the makeup worn off here. And I touched up just once, just a little bit before a meeting on my T-zone because I start getting some oils through, which this is looking um, nice. The concealer looks very nice. I love the concealer and the powders are like always, looks good. The foundation is good. I got some compliments about my foundation today and I'm happy about that. Everybody said it looked very nice. It looked my, like my skin. They said, oh, nice skin. I said, I have makeup on. And it was like, oh, really? It's so It looks so nice. So I did get a lot of compliments. But um, for oily skin, maybe you should have like a mattifying primer. Now, Milk One is not a mattifying primer. It's more like a gripping primer. But I think I can make this less oily if I use a mattifying powder and a mattifying setting spray. Now I have this... Um, long lasting, it's all controlled, but still this won't keep my oils in control as lo a lot. I have the one that I really like is that extra hour from Kai Cosmetics, that's the new one. But I also love other mattifying setting sprays. So I think I can get this foundation to work. Is it, in, is it worth the price? This is a hard question, but let's be honest because we are honest here on my channel, no. I can get this with my Estee Lauder Double Wear or my Catrice. It's it's a little it's better than Catrice and it's better than Estee Lauder Double Wear. How it looks on my skin, I, let's just say that out there, put it out there. It's better, but is it that better? That's like double the price for Estee Lauder Double Wear, almost three times the price. Doesn't matter. It's expensive. Is it worth that? No, not really. I mean, no. I'm, I want to say yes. When I say no, I feel guilty and I feel like I'm kind of not really telling the truth, but it's an expensive foundation and I think it makes my face look beautiful. I really like it. But when I see these oils, I get less oily using other foundations, maybe because they are more like mattifying this is not mattifying foundation this is supposed to give you that natural glow so i know i do like it i'll definitely continue using it because i love how it looks on my skin and i don't mind mind mattifying with a powder or something let's just use a mattifying powder do i have something here yes let's just use this one rimmel use rimmel over the pat my gram okay i have a puff here from see see it still looks flawless like I just applied my makeup so it looks good And it's, I can see that it's worn off her, here on my nose. But like I said, I've been touching my face a lot. But no, I don't want to say it's worth almost 900 Swedish dollars. I don't want to say that it's worth that money because I feel like you can get away with cheaper foundations. So that's my thought, thoughts about it. You can buy other foundations and have almost similar results if not even better long lasting on your face if you have oily skin i think you will love it if you have dry skin i think this wood foundation will be perfect for someone that has dry skin and this is really good foundation for mature skin that has a lot of texture 
I feel like it moves with my face, it moves with my texture, it doesn't settle with my fine lines, it doesn't make me look cakey or heavy. It does wear off where the places where I get oily, where I touch up my face, so it's not transfer proof, but it doesn't claim to be. But I do like this foundation. I can't lie and say that I like it. Will I repurchase it? If I had the money, I will. If I had the money, I will repurchase it. Um, so, they just put it out there. But yeah, guys, that was everything. Please let me know down below what you think about this foundation. Have you had a chance to try it? I would suggest to go to Sephora and ask for sample. This is from Swedish Sephora, but I think you have it somewhere in other countries too. So ask for a sample. Try it out if you really want to put your money in it. But I think you can go and try Estee Lauder Double Wear or try, as I said, the, uh, the... Let's just pick up some dupes. Maybe um, Naked Urban Decay. Oh my, it's all, almost empty look. <laughs> Doesn't look so good. But this one also gives me similar look. Um, Too Faced, not the matte version, but Too Faced kind of gives this. This is more lightweight than the Too Faced. As, yeah, the other one I already said, the this is my new Estee the Double Wear. This is in shade 2 and 1. There's a beige, new tr shade I tried. I had Fresco for a very long time, but it looked so pink on my face that I had to try it. This is the brand new foundation. I haven't even opened it. So, yeah, I mean, I think I like it. I'm glad to have it in my collection. Definitely going to use. Um, but yeah, and I have it done in shade 6 if you are in similar shade as I have. So this is, yeah, I like it. I like it. I won't lie. I like it. Okay, guys. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you so much, so much for watching. I love you and see you in my next video. Bye.